Now it's seriously time to get home. <laughs> I was gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos before going out running. I got up at 4 and it's now 5.30. <laughs> Since I got up, the weather was okay. And now this. And we're ready to go. I don't know if this is the smartest idea, but fuck it. City, finding stuff to climb. Just fun stuff. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Yes, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I'm a mole in the ground, I'd root that mom down. And I wish I was a mole. I've been living in this city for over 30 years and I've never stood on top. Town Eagles. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna do this, but it's really tempting. You drop shoot. Okay. Might be one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Okay, this is soaking wet. <laughs> this is not my normal kind of training. I think I might be going before they call the police. Oh shit. <laughs> Really refreshing. Time to get home now, Martin. Stop playing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my feet are freezing. They're so cold right now. <sighs> so I think it's about time we got home. She told me she wanted one hour to chill alone while I'm at the office. Instead, this happens. I have no idea how I look. <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs>
Do I look pretty? Whoops. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, kids, back to the god days when I looked like this. Uh, <laughs> One of the best things you can do when you have social anxiety is to go through a crowd filming yourself as you're talking and then see how you deal with the anxiety. And as you can see, I'm putting up a front and I am listening to music so I can't hear the voices laughing at me. I feel so safe when the alarm is still going for one day, two days. I have no idea what's wrong. <laughs> Today the plan is basic. I'm gonna tidy up the studio, paint and draw and write because I haven't done that in ages. So today is chill Friday. Meditation through arts. Finally, I have my <coughs> painting and drawing station ready. Organized everything neatly, as you can see. Paint, brushes, pens, stuff like that. You know why I started CrossFit training and why I love it so much? Here's why. I used to be super depressed when I was a teenager. I self-harmed, super negative, really didn't do anything. Skateboarding saved my life and music, of course, but I was still struggling with this depression and anxiety and all that shit. As I got older, I wanted to start training before my doctor told me I should start training because skateboarding alone is not good enough to maintain a healthy body. You get a lot of training, of course, but you need something more. So I started like standard training, training legs, training arms. I had to struggle to get my ass over to the training studio. Huh? Hey! Hello! But I hated it. I was training with my friends and then this guy who looked like it was carved out of a fucking mountain because he looked so damn good even asked me hey do you want to try a functional training? I said sure because I was desperate. I wanted to do anything else but the standard training. I think we did seven minutes. How did I feel after seven minutes? Completely fucking destroyed and I was hooked. CrossFit Hugson. I started training CrossFit and I got so hooked on it I trained five times a week maybe two or three times a day and then in the end I convinced Idret Utnalkul to pay for my trip to uh, Finland and I took my uh, course in CrossFit and I became a CrossFit instructor. Did CrossFit classes and eventually the students got better than me. Kind of had to start all over again because of my shoulder because I learned this technique where you kind of look like a spastic and I started doing morning trainings only. So I got up at five and I loved the new routine. I changed everything. Some friends didn't like my new training hours. You know I'm talking about you Jim but I love you bro. When I was a kid, I would sleep my life away. I was a lazy piece of shit, never had any goals. Well, I had goals, but I didn't pursue them. When I started CrossFit, not only did I feel better strength-wise, but I felt better inside my head. So CrossFit opened another door for me. I became a more positive person, started taking responsibility. So I quit my day job and I pursued my dream and I now have two studios and I do my dream full-time. CrossFit changed my life, most definitely. And I love CrossFit. CrossFit, baby. <laughs> a perfect ending to a perfect day. Chinese take away. And a pretty girlfriend. Super pretty. And the best t-shirt award goes to Sieve. Yeah, dude. <laughs>